What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here and today we're opening and reviewing these Destiny 2 Big Shots by Big Shot Toy Works. So I don't know exactly if that's what they're called, I, they're like Destiny minifigures as you can see here. And so they're just like little figures of Destiny characters so they have like small bodies and kind of big heads and stuff for the bodies and everything. So we're going to go through, open each one of these in order and stuff and you know talk about and show them off and everything. So we'll go ahead and start out with Cade 6 here. Okay so Cade 6 is out of the box now. So this is Cade 6 from Destiny and these are all Destiny 2 versions of the figure stuff. And so he is the Hunter Vanguard. So the class of Hunter from the game. This is the Vanguard which is like their leader and stuff. And so as you can see uh, he's got his helmet there with has like a horn on the front of it which I think is always kind of funny. And he has a hood up on his like cloak thing so he has a cape and a hood with the logos and stuff there of probably the um, hunter logo and stuff and so he's in a outfit there it looks like he has a like a scarf and stuff on and he has a knife there he has a wrench there I don't know exactly what the wrench is for except for like fixing stuff obviously but he like, he's doing his little thumbs up there giving everybody a thumbs up and then so there's his boots and stuff looks like with some armor type stuff on it and everything and they all come with little stands that they can like come off of and you can put them back on and everything and so it's just a nice cool little figure and stuff so this was a GameStop exclusive version or figure of Kate 6 here and so you got when you pre if you pre-ordered the Destiny 2 game and so um, that's how I got this. And of course, all these are my brother's figures. I don't know or any, hardly anything about Destiny. Like we did a video before, which you could probably see that on our channel, of the McFarlane figures of all the Destiny characters that they have. But um, out of the actual Destiny stuff, I don't know a whole lot. And these are all my brothers, so I'm just opening for them. So there was Cade 6. And then next up, we're going to move over to Zavala here. So it looks kind of cool, so we'll go ahead and open this. Okay, so here we have Zavala now, and so he is the Titan Vanguard, so as um, Cade 6 was the Hunter, this one is for the Titans, so the Titan class, and so he looks cool, so he's all blue, he's got a giant blue head there, it looks kind of like Mr. Clean, but if you turn blue or something like that, and so it looks really cool, and then I like all his big giant armor, so of course he's a Titan, so they're supposed to be like the heavy class type thing, he's got a big giant shield here, I like that, that looks really cool with the logo and everything there, but it's nice like big piece of armor to help protect him, and he's got of course big giant armor there on his chest and everything he just looks like he can do a lot of damage so he obviously stands on the peg too he has like an actual circle peg where Kate had like a weird design one but he only goes in one foot so he kind of doesn't stand very well on it at least like holding it up and stuff it can fall off easily so here is his gun here and so this gun is called the origin story and again this is all from destiny 2 and stuff after all the events going on there but so here's a closer look up at the armor here so you can see all the different designs and detail they put in on these little tiny figures and stuff. So we got you know even detail on the little like cape skirt thing there. I don't know what you call it, but it's kind of funny. And so that looks really cool. And um, so as I said, this is a Vala, and he's considered the head of the Vanguard Council. So I assume all of these are like the leaders and stuff. And so he's like the head leader, I guess you could say, out of the group and stuff. And so that just looks really cool. I like the look of these little figure stuff. So that was the Vala. And next up, we're going to be opening Ikora here. Okay, so we got Ikora out of here now. So she is the Warlock Vanguard. So she's in control of all the Warlock characters, which I know when I did play Destiny, that's who I what I played as was a Warlock. And so here's like she's, as I said, the leader of them. So here's a look at her. So I like the look, look of their face and like how much detail they put into it and stuff. So here's her outfit. It does kind of look like a warlock or like a wizard's outfit. It almost kind of reminds me of like uh, Doctor Strange or something with like the collar and everything. Not collar, but collar on the neck. Neck collar there. And so she's holding her hand out like she's maybe doing a spell or shooting something out from her hand. Like a, like I said, a spell or maybe an a orb or something like that. And it just looks cool. I like all the color and detail they put in her outfit and stuff. So she has a gun here called the Deadpan Delivery. That's the gun that she's carrying in this figure. And it just looks really cool. So here's a look at some more of the detail in on her. So there you can see, all the, again, all the little details and everything they put into the figure here. And it just looks super cool. I like her like necklace and stuff there. And so again, they, they put a lot of, I'm surprised how much detail is in on these little figures and stuff, like uh, all that they did on there. But that's really cool. But so that's pretty much it for Ikora. Then next up, we're going to be opening Lord Saladin. 
Okay, so we got Lord Saladin out of the pack, so we'll go ahead and pick him up here. So if you saw our Destiny uh, McFarlane figures, we had a Lord Saladin. He was a giant figure in there, so it was kind of cool to have that. So now we have a little figure of it, too. So he, in here he's wearing his helmet, wearing the figure, like the main uh, version wasn't wearing the helmet, but the helmet was included, so you can put it in there. And then he's got his giant um, iron battle axe there, too, like the giant figure had. And I really like that stuff with the chain and everything all wrapped around it. As you can see the detail they put into it there and stuff. And so here's his chest of course with the wolves on it. Which kind of go with his two wolves there in the back. Um, and then he's got a piece of armor there with like the, a tree looking type things on it there. Whatever the tree logo is that they use in Destiny. That's there on his leg again with the, the Iron Banner logo. With the tree and the wolf's heads and stuff there. And then he's got a cape on the back which has... I don't know if that's maybe the Iron Banner logo. I don't know but it's got the axe and the two hands going together there as you can see and he has the fur which ours had like a real actual fur which was kind of weird or the big figure did but this one's just plastic obviously and so then his armor there again and like his heat his head doesn't have a whole lot of detail which is kind of disappointing like the helmet it's just kind of plain basic old helmet there and then like i said he's got the armor on his boots and stuff there on his legs some armor and then he does also come with the wolf packs here obviously because he's uh got two wolf characters and stuff and so here are both of them um they're just basic like bane uh basic plain wolf characters the only difference is like it looks like they were obviously made in two different parts and so they're like glued together and this, these aren't glued together very well it's kind of gaps in them and everything but they're nice cool little wolf figures that go like next to your figure and everything and so as i said that was lord saladin he's the lord of the iron or iron lord whatever you want to call it and stuff and just in control of all of that runs the iron banner and everything in destiny but that's pretty much it for lord saladin and then last we have gall here okay so we've got gall out of the box here now so this looks really cool this is probably my favorite out of the set but we have gall here and he's the red legion commander and he's like the main bad guy of destiny 2 he's like the big leader and stuff but i like his face here because it kind of reminds me of darth vader like with the like uh breather on here but kind of like uh, the bad guy from the newer mad max movie kind of looks like that too but i like the way he has that like mouth breather mask on there and then his head which has all sorts of dark red eyes Oh, they're staring into your abyss. And then the whole, like, this orange designs there on his head, which I don't know what it is. By the color, it looks almost like blood, but I don't know. I doubt that's what it is. But he's in an all-white suit, which looks really cool. Like, I like that uh, whole, like, detail and stuff of him being in all-white. Even though, you know, he's, like, the bad guy. Usually white symbolizes good and everything, but he's bad. And so he has a gun here, which has no real, like, special name or anything. As you can see there. And then he's got his hand hold up. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but it's like he's reaching for something i don't know and then his outfit looks really cool like i said with all the white he's got wings on the back so i don't know if he flies or anything i know some of the characters do like can like jump or jetpack type thing and stuff i don't know if he does that though but that looks really cool and he doesn't come with a base it looks like you could put one on there though with the design they did but i think he's so like fat and like uh, has such big feet that they didn't need a base to put him on so it didn't come with one or anything but i just think that looks really cool i love all the again all the detail and design they put into the figure as you can see with all the stuff they did and all the parts and stuff it just looks so cool and like i said that's probably my favorite one out of the set so that's gonna be it for this opening and reviewing of the destiny 2 minifigures from big shot toy works and so i think they're just a bunch of cool little figures i don't know if they're gonna do more obviously my brother would probably know if they're doing a lot more in the set but these just um so that obviously came with the pre-order and then the um lord saladin had been released a while ago i don't know exactly when maybe when the game came out but the Zavala Ikor and Gull were released just, we just got them this week and stuff. So they're just pretty brand new and everything. But I think, like I said, they may be making more, maybe not. I don't know if they're going to do like the actual like character stuff like the uh, McFarlane figures did or not. I'm not exactly sure. But that's going to be it for this review of the Destiny 2 figures, as I said. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.